Welcome back to 843 TV. We are here now with Miss Charlie Clark. How are you? Good, good. Glad to be here. And I think everybody knows now, but in case they don't, Charlie Clark is the Vice President of the Hilton Head Island Bluffton Chamber of Commerce. Yes. So you guys always have a ton of stuff going on. Always You're hard to keep up with. <laughs> always a lot going on. But today on. we're talking about the Business Expo. Expo. So what new changes do you have in store for this year's Expo? Yeah, we did make quite a few changes this year. You know, we surveyed folks who had been part of Expo in the past, our vendors, and, and chatted with them and said, what do you want to see this year? How can we change it up? How can we keep it interesting? We're always trying to refresh events that we do and make sure we're meeting the needs of our of our members. And say that they said, let's, let's put it in one day. So this year it's a one day sort of mega event. We're going to put it all into anything. one day. <laughs> really? I don't think you do. You know, for, with today, everybody's so busy. You know, the economy's totally in recovery mode. People with staffing is an issue, you know, for them to get their staffing out there and all that good stuff. So I think everybody's really excited to have it sort of as a one-day mega event for Expo. Uh, great idea. You always have a great national speaker, somebody to come in, get everybody charged up, get everybody motivated, get everybody pointed in one direction. Absolutely. Who is it? It is. We're so excited to have brr, back yep. with us Lee Cockerell. He is a former executive vice president with Disney. And he has written a book on customer service, The 39 Irrefutable Rules of Customer Service. And as we all know, Disney wrote the book. Oh, yes. You know. They kind of have it down. Yeah, they <laughs> kind of have it down. I mean, they serve as a model. We had Lee Cockrell speak probably about, I don't know, five years ago. Um, and we had over 600 people attend that event. It is wow. such an important topic, especially here in the low country where we're such a service industry. And uh, I, I guarantee you, you're going to learn something walking out of that, whether it's just, whether you're a one-person shop, whether you've got a company with, with multiple employees, you're going to learn something with Lee Cockerell. And just to learn from that Disney experience, I think, is a great thing. Great speaker, uh, very dynamic, and has a lot of good stuff to say. So he's going to be with us. That's terrific. Yeah, that's yeah. great. I mean, yeah. Disney, you're right. We went, my family went there in November, and it's just like every single tiny detail they have, they have it made so easy for you. I mean, it's just... They're the pros. They have it down, and he was part of that, making them oh, yeah. who they are. So, yeah, he's got some great yeah. wisdom to impart. Awesome. So we're excited to have him back. That's impressive. Well, you always cover some form of hot topic for us at the Expo, and such as flood insurance. What can attendees be learning this year? That's exactly what we're going to be talking about, Robin. Oh. This year is flood insurance. I mean, that is such a hot topic right now, and it's uh -huh. so confusing. I mean, does anybody really get what's going I on? I don't understand it. Nobody knows until you get the envelope in the mail and you go, oh my gosh, what happened? Because you have to have it. What's what's happening? What's going on? So we have a panel there. And the great thing about this is it's going to be totally Q&A. Absolutely. You can just ask the panel of experts, including folks from FEMA, um, what's going on? How do I do this? What's going on with mine? And, and kind of get the ins and outs. So we're very, very excited about this. This is going to kick off the morning mm -hmm. at 10 a.m. There is no charge to attend oh. uh, this seminar. And so we're really hoping for a great time out. Come learn about flood insurance and what you need to know as a low country resident because all of us are Since impacted. Since we're sitting at sea level. <laughs> we're all yeah, affected. Yeah, below it actually. Yeah. <laughs> who, who else is on the panel? Somebody from FEMA? FEMA, we have insurance experts. We've mm -hmm. got a great panel who's going to really cover all the bases. Yeah. So I think everyone's going to get a really good perspective. Yeah, because from a real estate standpoint, too, I mean, when you're going to buy real estate oh, now, that's huge. a heavy consideration. It's huge. So. It's huge. So hopefully this will give us some ins and outs, and we can kind of leave the room knowing a little bit more than mm -hmm. we knew when we walked in and yeah. how we're going to handle our own personal issues with that. Uh, the Chamber does such a good job throughout the year with networking through the mm -hmm. after hours and the various mm -hmm. programs that you guys do. But this is kind of a, a condensed but hyper-focused networking opportunity for, for business owners and people that are involved in business in any way. So what are some opportunities at the, at the Expo this year that are going to allow that to continue with the networking? Well, you know, when we ask our members what's the number, what's the number one most important thing to, to you for being a member of the Chamber, they say we want to connect. We want to connect with other businesses. And so Expo is really the biggest way to do that. We'll have over 2,000 people come through there wow. in a single day. Now, where is the Expo? It's going to be held this year. It's going to be at the Westin. It'll be at the Western Oceanfront Resort, and it's just a great day to to connect with other businesses. Our members tell us that they get more connectivity in that day than they do, you know, three months on the street. So it's just a great way to do it. It's also, quite frankly, it's a great way to check out your competition. A lot of times you don't get to see what the competition's doing, and just to talk and mingle. People are come out of Expo with business. They come out with clients. They come out with new contacts. And so I think that's a pretty great way to spend a day if you're a business. Absolutely. You know, we've, we've attended the Expo for several years and been there, and it is an excellent opportunity to network and check out the competition yeah. and have the competition check us out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. Now, if you're not a member of the Chamber, 
Can you get a ticket to the expo? Absolutely. You know, there's no charge to attend expo. Anybody can go to expo. Expo is going to run from um, from 11 to 5, and then the expo after hours happens from 5 to 7, and that's that. Hey, it's just a great networking event. That's ten dollars, and that's food, that's beer and wine, all inclusive for that. If you attend one of the seminars, for example, if you go to the Lee Cockrell seminar, there is a charge to attend, but it also includes a discounted charge to get into business. Well, after the hours. mega after hours. Yeah. What can you expect? With a lot of, you know, that's that's when the room gets really packed. <laughs> it really is. I mean, that's when people the room gets really crowded. It's really kind of enjoyable just to kind of get some food, get some drink, talk to folks, network, work your way around the room, see what's going on in the business community. You can really get a good glimpse into the entire business community in that one room. And people are often surprised. You know, the size of this expo it rivals Columbia's in size. It rivals Savannah's in size. And for a community our size in the Low Country, that's that's pretty amazing. Yeah. So, again, what day is it? The expo is just around the corner. It's going to be in January. If you want to get information, you can go to HiltonHeadBluftonChamber.org. We've got all the scoop. You can register for the seminars there and uh, find out what's going on. There's always something going on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like the busiest multitasking person in a while. But you have a very successful chamber, so I think it's, it's you're a obviously spot. doing a really good job. What's the members? We're 1,600 members strong, and that's that's who, really? that's who steers the ship. Honestly, yeah. that's who steers the so ship. How many people are you expecting at the expo, would you say? Over 2,000. We'll have over 2,000 people come through. Yeah, and even if you don't have uh, a display or, or a booth, I right. mean, the, the benefit of just going there and just walking through the aisles, I mean, you're going to see everybody you know, first of all. Right, and then, But also just those business connections that you make. Right. Really. Well, and it's kind of nice down here, too, because that's going to be a perfect opportunity to kind of put a face with a name. Right. Right. You know, and I know that's a big deal, like, with my business. People are like, oh, you look familiar. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then they'll make the connection. And, like, you hear names of people, and right. it all sounds familiar, but then it's nice to kind of get everybody in a room and go, okay, now I know who that yeah. is. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Great place to connect. Exactly. All right, so for any more information, like Charlie said earlier, please go to the HiltonHeadChamber.org. Mm-hmm. And make sure that you go check out the expo, and we'll be right back with more 843 TV.